today we're going to make implied texture leaf rubbings. Now you might be looking at this thinking that I drew all of these leaves, but I didn't. I used the leaves themselves and the texture from the leaves to create these uh, leaf rubbings. And I'm going to show you how as well. But before we go on, the reason why we are practicing this leaf texture rubbing is because texture is the sixth element of art after line, shape, color, value, and form. And for those of you who don't know or might have forgotten, texture means the way that something feels, that's real texture, or the way that something looks like how it feels, which is called implied texture, meaning it looks like it has a certain texture, but if I was to actually feel it, it wouldn't feel like the texture of how it looks. And that's what we're going to do today. We're gonna to use implied texture leaf rubbings to make this flat and smooth piece of paper appear to look like it has the, um, the rough stems of all of the leaves that we're gonna use. In order to do this project, what you, you're gonna need is a blank piece of paper, preferably a white piece of paper. And you're also going to need different sized and shaped leaves. Real leaves work best, especially leaves that have very raised texture of their um, stems, meaning when you feel it, it really feels like there's a texture, not just flat. Um, we're also going to need crayons, but we especially need to use naked crayons. Now remember, naked crayons mean that the wrapper is not on the crayon. So if you don't have a naked crayon, you can make your crayon naked by finding the side of the wrapper. Right here, I see it. And you're just going to pinch away the wrapper and rip, rip, rip it apart. And you are just going to take the wrapper off of your crayon. Now, if you don't want to make your entire crayon naked, what you can do is you can just rip off some of it and then break off the piece that is the naked part of the crayon, okay? You can do that to just one crayon color crayon or you can do that to one or two or three depending on how many colors you want to use okay so we're going to need those naked crayons if you don't have crayons that have a wrapper and they're like twistables you can still use your crayon you're just going to have to press really lightly when you're doing your rubbings all right so in order to get started what you're going to do is you're going to find the first leaf that you want to use, okay? So find the first leaf that you wanna use. Find the back of the leaf, meaning not the, the glossy side, but the side where all the veins and the stem are really popping out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that leaf somewhere underneath your white piece of paper, okay? So I'm putting this leaf on the back side up underneath my piece of paper. I'm gonna hold down my piece of paper. I can feel where my leaf is, okay? And what I'm gonna do is with one hand, I'm gonna hold down my paper on top of my leaf. Then I'm gonna get out my first naked crayon color and I'm going to pinch it so that if it was laying down on my piece of paper, kind of like it's taking a nap, I'm just pinching the sides of it and once I've pinched the sides of it, I'm going to press down and rub my crayon up, down, up, down, back and forth and back and forth, trying to keep my leaf that's underneath my piece of paper from moving around so that once my crayon rubs its color on the paper on top of it, take a look. It leaves 
the texture and the outline of our leaf that was underneath. Isn't that amazing? So once I have one of my leaves done, I can pick a completely different shaped leaf to do. Let's try this one. Um, and I might get another naked crayon of a different color. Um, I'm gonna put my next leaf kind of underneath on the other side of the first leaf that I did. I'm gonna have my hand hold down the piece of paper, hold down the leaf that's underneath it. I'm gonna take my naked crayon and I'm gonna lay it down and rub, 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 rub it. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Wow, look at this one. The texture is really showing up very well. Now, if your texture is not showing up, it means that you have to press down with your crayon a little bit harder and go back, forth, back, forth, pressing down harder in order to get the color. Awesome. Okay, so I've done two leaves. Now I want to pick a different shaped leaf. Ooh, look at this one. I'm going to find the back of it, put it underneath my piece of paper. Now, if I wanted to overlap my leaf onto this one, meaning the, the rubbing of it is going to crisscross it, that's okay. You can keep them separate or you can overlap. I'm going to slightly overlap mine. So I'm going to press down with my one hand. I might find a different naked crayon color, and really you can, you can use any colors. And I'm going to rub back, forth, back, forth, back, forth with my naked crayon, trying to get the texture of that leaf to show through. Now, some leaves work better than others. This one looks like it's working out pretty well. Nice. Ooh, look at that one. So pretty. All right, I'm gonna take that leaf off. I'm gonna find a different shaped leaf. How about this one? Find an area where I wanna put it. Maybe I wanna put it going a little bit more horizontal like this. And I'll find another naked crayon color. You can use the same color or a different one up to you. And I'm gonna press down, rub, 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 trying to keep that leaf underneath my piece of paper from moving. I don't really want it to move around. So I'm really pressing down with my one hand and rubbing the crayon on top with the other. Look at that, pretty. All right, I might find a different shaped leaf. And you can keep going, picking different shaped leaves, putting them underneath, finding a different colored naked crayon and rub on top. Look at that one, pretty. Lovely. All right, let's find another one. I'm really curious about this one. I wasn't sure whether or not this was gonna work or not. So what I might do, if I'm not sure about one, maybe I'll put it on the side, on the corner, just as an experiment. And if it doesn't work out, oh well. That's, art is all about experimentation. All right, here we go. I'm trying this one out. Oh, it looks like it is working. Nice, pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at that texture. Cool, all right, so I'm just gonna fill in any of the spaces that don't have a leaf with a new leaf by putting it underneath, holding the paper down, with my one hand, finding a naked crayon, if I don't have a naked crayon of a color, I can take the wrapper off to create my naked crayon. And rub, 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 rub that naked crayon on top of the paper, on top of that leaf that I put on underneath. Pretty, okay. Uh, I have so many, but you know what? I might want to repeat some of the um, leaves that I've used. That's fine. So if you ran out of new leaves, take one of the leaves that you've already used, put it in a new position, pick a new color crayon, and you can even rub that leaf that you used before in a new position and a new color, and all of a sudden it looks different and brand new. Okay, 
Hmm, which other one should I use? There's so many. I don't think I used this one yet. So I might put this, again, diagonally across. They can overlap. Pick a new color or a color that you've already used, doesn't matter. And rub, 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 rub. Wow. I'm really loving when the textures overlap each other. That's starting to look really, really, really nice. So friends, you can just keep looking for new places to put your new or repeat some of the same leaves. Get different colors in there. Which one haven't I used? I don't know, I wanna use this one again. And just keep holding down your piece of paper on your leaf, rub, 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 rub the crayon on top, back, forth, back, forth. And keep filling in your paper. Isn't that beautiful? So cool. All right, couple more and then then we'll be done. Ooh, look at that. Love all of these implied textures. Maybe I'll fit one here. Maybe a bigger one or... Now you can do even more after our Zoom. If you want to make another one on a different piece of paper, that's totally fine. You can keep making these as many as you want because these leaf rubbing papers make really nice cards or just gifts to people. So if you get done with one, and you wanna make another one, I'm sure there are some people in your family who would absolutely love to have one of your leaf rubbings. Look at that, pretty. All right, friends, so it looks like I filled almost my entire paper with the, my leaf rubbings, so I think I'm done. Look at that. So many implied leaf textures. All right, friends. Well, I hope you have fun doing this project, and I can't wait to see yours.